From the very first iPhone to the iPhone 17, let's take a look at how its cameras have evolved. The first iPhone had a small round camera placed simply in the top left corner. The resolution was only 2 megapixels, and features were almost completely missing. No flash, no autofocus, and no video recording. One year later, the iPhone 3G kept exactly the same design and the same 2 megapixel camera. On the iPhone 3GS, the camera design didn't change, but the sensor went up to 3 megapixels and added autofocus, plus the ability to record video at 480p. On the iPhone 4, the camera stayed in the same place, but for the first time, the LED flash appeared. The sensor went up to 5 megapixels, supported HD recording at 30 FPS, and introduced backside illumination for better low light photos, tap to focus, HDR, and 5 times digital zoom. In addition, the iPhone 4 introduced the very first front camera with VGA resolution. On the iPhone 4S, the camera went up to 8 megapixels with an f2.4 aperture. It wrought very important features full HD recording, face detection, and video stabilization. The front camera remained VGA. Want more videos like this? Then hit the new hype button and help us grow this community. It's free, and it helps us a lot. Thank you. The iPhone 5's camera received sapphire crystal protection against scratches. The sensor was still 8 megapixels, but faster and more sensitive thanks to low-light boost. It introduced panoramic photos, photo capture while recording video, and more stable Full HD recording. The front camera jumped to 1.2 megapixels with HD video. The iPhone 5S introduced the True Tone Flash with two LEDs, slow motion at 120 FPS, burst mode, and improved video recording. On the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, the rear camera was still 8 megapixels, but for the first time, it slightly protruded. It got faster autofocus with focus pixels, full HD recording at 60 FPS, and slow motion at 240 FPS. The iPhone 6 Plus introduced optical image stabilization, available only for photos. The front camera stayed at 1.2 megapixels but gained an f2.2 aperture and burst mode for selfies. The iPhone 6S and 6S Plus bumped the rear camera to 12 megapixels, with 4K recording at 30 FPS, slow motion at 120 or 240 FPS live photos, while the 6S Plus kept OIS for both photos and video. The front camera rose to 5 megapixels and added Retina Flash, using the screen as a flash for brighter selfies. The iPhone 7 came with a 12 megapixel rear camera, brighter f1.8 aperture, OIS, quad LED true tone flash, and time lapse video. The iPhone 7 Plus was the first with a dual camera system, a wide and a telephoto, both 12 megapixels. This setup enabled 2 times optical zoom and introduced portrait mode with bokeh. The front camera increased to 7 megapixels with automatic HDR and full HD video. The iPhone 8 kept the 12 megapixel camera but with a larger, faster sensor, OIS on the wide lens, and 4K at 60 FPS, a first for iPhone. The 8 Plus kept the dual setup and introduced portrait lighting for studio style effects. The front camera remained 7 megapixels with full HD recording and automatic HDR. The iPhone 10 introduced a new vertical dual camera design, two 12 megapixel sensors with OIS. The 7 megapixel front camera debuted as the true depth camera, enabling face ID and portrait selfies with bokeh and portrait lighting. The XS models kept the dual 12 megapixel cameras but with larger, faster sensors. Major upgrades included smart HDR, 4K at 60 FPS with stereo sound, and portrait mode with depth control. The iPhone XR had a single 12 megapixel wide camera but inherited the XS features. The iPhone 11 was a landmark introducing the square camera design. It was equipped with a dual 12 megapixel camera system, the major innovation being night mode, for much better photos in low light conditions. The front camera increased to 12 megapixels, supporting 4K at 60 FPS and slow motion slow fees. The 11 Pro models were the first iPhones with triple cameras wide, ultra wide, and telephoto, all 12 megapixels. They offered night mode and deep fusion for enhanced detail. The 12 and 12 mini carried dual 12 megapixel cameras, with the wide lens upgraded to a brighter f1.6. Another big addition was Dolby Vision HDR recording up to 4K at 30 FPS. The 12 megapixel true depth front camera supported night mode, deep fusion, and 4K HDR recording. The Pro models brought a triple 12 megapixel setup plus a LiDAR scanner. 
New features included Apple Pro RAW, Night Mode on all cameras, and Dolby Vision HDR up to 4K 60fps. 13 models rearranged the dual 12 megapixel cameras diagonally. They introduced photographic styles and cinematic mode, 1080p at 30fps, with rack focus effects. The Pro models had triple 12 megapixel cameras, each upgraded. Ultra wide added macro photography, telephoto offered 3 times optical zoom, and all supported night mode. Video expanded with ProRes recording up to 4K at 30fps. Apple kept and improved the dual 12 megapixel system with the Photonic Engine for richer colors and details. Video added action mode for better stabilization and cinematic mode in 4K HDR. The 12 megapixel true depth front camera gained autofocus and the Photonic Engine. The Pro models made a big leap. The main camera rose to 48 megapixels with a quad pixel sensor. They also had 12 megapixel ultra wide and 12 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom. The front camera was a 12 megapixel true depth with autofocus and photonic engine. The 15 models brought 48 megapixel wide plus 12 megapixel ultra wide in a dual system. The front camera was a 12 megapixel true depth with autofocus and photonic engine. The Pro models kept triple cameras. 48 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 12 megapixel telephoto. The 15 Pro Max introduced an exclusive 5x telephoto lens. The 16 and 16 Plus adopted a new vertical dual camera design. It keeps the same camera setup as the previous generation, but with improved performance. The 12 megapixel true depth front camera remained with autofocus and 4K HDR video. A major novelty was camera control, a dedicated capture button for photos and video. The Pro models kept the triple setup, 48 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 12 megapixel telephoto. The iPhone 17 kept the vertical design from the 16 but with a dual 48 megapixel system. The front camera jumped to 18 megapixels with a square sensor, enabling portrait or landscape selfies without rotating the phone. It added improved video stabilization and dual capture for simultaneous Dolby Vision 4K from both front and rear cameras. The iPhone Air, Apple's thinnest phone, introduced a new full-width horizontal camera bar. It had a single 48-megapixel fusion sensor with 1x and 2x zoom without ultra-wide or telephoto. The front camera was 18 megapixels with center stage. The Pro models also adopted the full-width horizontal module. They carried a trio of 48-megapixel cameras with up to 8x zoom. The front camera remained 18 megapixels with all the new features. On video, they delivered pro-level tools, real-time ProRes RAW, second-gen Apple Log, GenLock Multicam Sync, and for the first time on a phone, Dolby Vision HDR 4K at 120fps. From a 2-megapixel camera with no flash and no video recording to triple 48-megapixel systems with optical zoom and Dolby Vision video, the iPhone has come an incredibly long way. Which stage of iPhone camera evolution do you find the most impressive, and why? If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you give us a like and leave a comment, it really helps us out. Thank you.